it's an interesting um, uh, take with our community because maids are very stereotypical uh, in how they've been portrayed. Uh, what I believe in, in the show is that it's never been they've never been portrayed like this. They're the moral compass of the show. They're funny. It's the first show to ever have five Lat Latina leads in television. Um, with the demographics of the United States changing rapidly, we should represent uh, our our diverse country on television. Um, it's you know it's a fact that we do make up a large percentage of domestic workers, and so um, when somebody criticizes us, saying you know why are you telling their stories? It's so ter stereotypical. I always say back, you're telling me their stories aren't worth telling. That maids are not complex. That they don't have a life. That they they don't have a story to tell, and they do. Um, and you know, I gave a lot of great examples in a great op-ed I did for Huffington Post about, um, you know, is the maid who had the son that became a doctor, her story's not worth telling. I would love to know her story. What did she do right? Um, that is successful to me. Is the maid who raised um, Mayor Castro of San Antonio and Congressman Castro of San Antonio, is, is her story not worth telling? She did something right, and she was a maid her whole life. Um, so I want to know those stories, and Mark does it in a, an amazing way. Um, I think another funny criticism was that, you know, oh, this white male is writing these Latina characters. Well, he's also a white male who wrote Desperate Housewives. You know, <laughs> so it's like, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to, you, you just have to be um, a good writer and have good content. And the show has really nothing to do with race. It's a really great drama, it's a great mystery, and it's, um, it's a lot of fun. The girls are great on it. and. Uh, I'm really proud of it. You guys are going to love it.